2010, I was uh, English middleweight champion uh, while training for the British title fight against Paul Smith uh, with uh, Nathan Cleverley uh, down in Wales. Uh, we were doing a few rounds of sparring. Uh, Monday to Wednesday was great, six rounds each day. Uh, Great, all looked really good, looked strong, thought, yeah, man, nothing could be better. On the Thursday, rocked up at the gym as normal, uh, gear on, got warm, jumped in the ring, done four or five rounds of sparring. Uh, they asked me to jump out so another lad could jump in just to give him a fresh boxer, which he did. And then his dad asked me if I could jump back in. Uh, I said, yeah, no problem, so I put my stuff back on. Uh, minute into the round, took a blow on the top of the head. Uh, nothing hard, I had my head gear on, um, felt a bit nauseous, a bit dizzy, said to Nathan, I've done a bit, Nathan, don't feel right. Nathan went to hit me again, I grabbed him around the waist and said, Nathan, hold on mate, I said, I don't feel right. He says, okay, Dad's no problem. As soon as he said it, my legs went, I grabbed the ropes, felt sick, dizzy, went to the toilet, uh, vomited into the toilet. When I picked my head up, it felt like somebody had popped in my eye. Uh, as I looked round, I could see blood running down the front of my eye. I looked into the mirror, but there was nothing there. And they took me to uh, an hospital which was local to Nathan's house, Murphy Tidville Hospital. Um, they'd done all the neuro neurology tests and whatever else, which I passed all right. And they said I had concussion. I asked them if I could have a scan being a boxer and taking a blow to the head. And they said, well, they didn't see no point really, as I thought I had concussion. But they would keep me on observation and send me down the next morning. Um, on the Friday morning, I think about seven o'clock, about an hour before they said they was going to scan me, they said that I was fine and I was free to go. When I got home, I was just projectile vomiting again. Even when I was at work, I was sleeping in the van all day. Claire wasn't happy, so she, uh, her uncle was an ear, nose and throat specialist uh, surgeon, so she found him. He was actually on holiday in France at the time and he diagnosed me from France with uh, a bleed on the brain and demanded I go back down to the hospital, name his name and say you're not leaving until you've had a scan. I went back down, they told me I wasn't an emergency uh, and because this was a Friday uh, there would have been nobody on, on shift so I'd have to wait. Uh, I was, all I can remember was being left in a corridor uh, and then the following I think it was the following morning. Uh, I was took down early on the morning. I can remember a woman coming back and saying, I'm ever so sorry, you got a bleed on the brain. I said, well, it took you a week and two days to realise this. I went, would I be able to box again? She went, I doubt it, which was like having my arms and legs cut off.